Lekomsev, he's absolutely spent and he's got there. Lekomsev by 0.7 of a second. And he's just pushed Mark Adams of Canada off top spot. Sochi was a successful games for me. I came home with a silver and bronze, my first Paralympic medals, but I left there hungry. 24 years old at the time and already at his second Winter Paralympic Games, Mark Arens finished less than a second behind the winner in the men's standing 7.5 kilometer biathlon in 2014. I wanted to be one of the best in the world and I wanted that gold medal. That silver medal from Sochi, that being 0.7 of a second behind, that was a huge driving force for me over the next four years leading into Pyeongchang. And so that kind of got me out of bed some days and really pushed me to find that extra little bit that was going to lead to success. The years in between Winter Paralympics also saw a shift in Arenz's attitude. Being able to focus on what I'm doing, my preparation, has always helped me perform to my best, but also allowed me to not necessarily be frustrated with everything else that's going around, and so I can stay focused, and, and then that performance will come. In Pyeongchang, the performances came for Arendt. He won a medal in every one of the six races he entered, including gold in the men's standing 15-kilometer biathlon. And finally, the gold medal will be his. Mark Arendt, perfection over the course of that race. After collecting all that hardware and being named Canada's flag bearer for the closing ceremony four years ago, Arendt has redefined his expectations ahead of Beijing. I have not put a number on the results. It's more about making sure that my races are the best that I can be and being prepared to do that. If I can cross that finish line knowing that I've done my best, I kind of put the cards on the table and see if someone can beat it and see what the result is afterwards.